Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a fun, will I buy it? Talking through all the, the new and upcoming makeup releases and whether or not I'm interested in them and why or why not so much. So without further ado, let's kick things off with these new Huda Beauty Color Block Eyeshadow Palettes. <laughs> Now, here's the thing, here's the, here's the tea with these. There are two palettes here, nine pans. There's like a purple orange and a sort of greeny purple, yellow in the middle. Now I look at these and I understand that these will be like a dream come true for someone, but she is not me. It is not I. I fully appreciate this, like it's something a bit different. I like the colour story. I think there's some innovation going on here, which I like to see. We love to see it. We love to see something a little different. In each of these palettes, there is one pan that is like a water activated liner. So, you know, you use a damp brush and you can use it as a liner. I feel like real creative artists who love colour I just gonna lap these right up, but that is the anti op, the opposite of me. That is not I. I'm afraid of colour. This is a lot, a lot of colour. It's very neon. It's not like you're really gonna get a wearable look out of here, and that's not what they're de designed for. And I'm just not the target audience here. So this is a very easy pass, but that's not to say I think these are awful. I think these are gorgeous, and I think someone is gonna get like a lot of fun and joy out of the here, but it's not gonna be me, it's not for me, it's a pass. Next, let's have a look at these Dior Addict Lip Tints. Now, as you know, the Dior Addict lipsticks, the shine, the hydrating shine lipsticks, like skyrocketed up to the top of my lipstick formula loves. Like that was a huge hit in this house. So Dior lip products, uh, they're right on my radar now. I'm like excited by them. These, however, I'm really on the fence. I'm really on the fence. How do you guys feel about these? Because mm, initially I'm like, t I'm not really into lip, t lip tints because in my mind they conjure up a vision of like them not being able to get off my lips. They typically quite matte and uncomfortable and then they just won't go away. They're just there forever some of them. So I don't have a huge positive like vibe when it comes to lip tints and there aren't a huge number. There is a hair on my face and it's driving me mad. <sighs> please, please, no, please stop it. I can't work like this. I can't live, love, laugh in these conditions. But there really aren't many reviews to go on just yet and I'm just really on the fence. Like I've seen a couple of reviews that say that these actually are not matte. They're more of like a satin finish. There's some shine there which kind of piques my interest. I'm like, oh wait, maybe these are not you know, with the typical lip tint that I'm expecting. And I'm just, I'm a little on the fence with the colors as well. There's not a lot of reviews and swatches out there to go off. So this is definitely like I'm on the fence. My eye, I'm keeping an eye on them. I'm looking out, I'm waiting to hear and see more. And I'm on the fence. I could be tipped off or tipped over the fence purchase town. We'll have to see. At the moment, that's a maybe from me. I don't really need them. Could I be persuaded? Possibly. We can only wait and see. Next up, let's talk about this new Westman Atelier Peau de Sante. So this is a new shade of their super loaded highlight. Now, <laughs> I've there's a whole story here, okay? So grab a cuppa, whatever you do. Or fast forward if you're not into stories that inevitably will probably be completely pointless to whether or not I'm going to buy it or not. I own, what do I own? I own Peau de... Pesh, Pesh, just was in there somewhere. I own Peau de Pesh and I like it. I do like it. I had a bit of an issue because the compact broke and this is a very, very expensive highlight, okay? We're not talking 30 pounds. We're talking like 70 pounds. <laughs> I don't expect that packaging for £70 to break, ever. I should be allowed to throw that at the wall and it just bounce back and maybe give me a bruise. That's what I expect from packaging when the product costs that much. I want it to be bulletproof and it should have been and it was not. It fell apart when I'd only used it like once or twice and it was a very sad time. And as you can see, I have some residual issues 
stemming from that situation. So I'm a little, little wary of buying from the brand again. However, this looks beautiful. I like the sound of it. Like it looks and sounds like my street and I do really like the product. The Peau de Peche product itself, I do really like it. So I was open-minded. However, this seems to only be available on Westman Atelier's website, which is an American site. So you have to pay international shipping and taxes and everything else. And it's really expensive. I actually went on their website and put it in my basket and I was fully going to buy it. And then once the added shipping and taxes and everything, I was like, this is insane. And also, I think it went up to almost like 80 or 90 pounds or something it was going to cost to get it here. And then it was like the shipping was like weeks. So that just all in all, it just put me off. So it was in my basket and then it left my basket very quickly afterwards. If this became available in the UK, I think I probably will pick it up. It's apparently got less like glitter sparkles or shimmer in it than some of the other shades. So that appeals to me. It sounds like a beautiful color. It's kind of like a peachy pink shade, which appeals to me. I'd like to give the brand another try. So there's a lot of yes, but there's also a lot of no for me when it comes to paying like 30 more pounds to receive a product. Like I just, I can't get down with that. Next up, Victoria Beckham came out with a new shade of her lid lusters. I believe it's called Starlight. So that's nice. The thing is here, I quite like these. I do, well, I do like these. Let's not lie. I like them, but I'm just not a single eyeshadow kind of person. I just reach my palettes way more. I want to get involved. I want to get my palette out and live my best palette life, you know? I'm not a builder, eyeshadow only I'm interested in when it comes to palettes. I've got a couple of these and I do like the formula. I think they're nice, I think they're beautiful on the eye, but yeah, they're not typically the eyeshadow that I reach for. I do prefer a palette. And this color for me, it's just, it's fine. It's not particularly exciting. It's not particularly different enough to like make me want to purchase outside of like what is my preference if you know what I mean there's nothing here I don't have this in like 58 other palettes and then I have all the accompaniments in those palettes whereas here it's just this and nothing else so I just feel like it's just not tickling my pickle enough I'm like sure it's a nice color I think the formula is nice I like the brand but is that enough? Is that enough? The answer is no, it's not enough. It's not enough. I'm going to say no to this one. I just don't need it. It doesn't mm, delight me. You know, I want to be delighted these days. <laughs> the, the benchmark is high in here. The bar is up here. In order to delight me, we're going to have to do better than this. You know, it's 2022. Next up, let's talk about the biggest disappointment since, I don't know, Robbie leaving Take That, perhaps. One Direction splitting up. Jackson not being able to see through Olivia's evil eyes. Take your pick. It's the Pat McGrath, the essence skincare. I guess I, it's an essence. I don't even know what an essence is, to be honest. The essence of something. It's not, it, it's not a toner. It's not a moisturiser, it's not a serum, it's an essence. Which is something, it's very Pat McGrath slash Charlotte Tilbury to call your first skincare product an essence. So yeah, I don't know if I can say the essence without whispering it. I'm really sorry. I don't know what comes over me, but that's how I feel about it. I was so disappointed about this because I'm just, I'm, I mean, one, I don't even use essences. Okay, I'm like a toner, moisturizer, serum, retinol, sure. SPF, love it. An essence, seems like I can do without. But when Pat McGrath starts sneak peeking things and saying something's coming, hashtag inspiration, hashtag coming soon, I don't think a single person on this earth was hoping for an essence. I don't think they were. If you were, then I'm really excited for you that you're the one person whose dreams came true the day that she did the big reveal and it was not an eyeshadow palette or bronzers or even some more lipstick shades or even a restocking of her Lux trances or, you know, I don't know, a new something exciting that was makeup related. I feel like literally we all, 
I mean, I checked the comment section when she sort of revealed that and there were a lot of people pretending to be really excited and I don't believe you. I don't believe that anyone was excited genuinely when this reveal happened because I know for a fact we were all really excited and thinking it was going to be a new mothership or something that was really exciting, like bronzers that we've been asking for for years now. I don't think anybody went, oh, yes, an essence. I don't know. Did that happen? I, I doubt it. My entire week was ruined, okay? That's how sad I was. I was devastated and crushed and my dreams were just ripped from my soul and my loins. That might be a little bit dramatic, a little bit of an exaggeration, but I don't care about this. I don't care. I think it's gonna be really expensive. I've no, I've got through 38 years so far without ever needing an essence. Um, and I would much rather have had, you know, another mothership, but you know, each to their own. This is a very easy pass for me and it's money saved. So that's something. But yes, this is a definite no. Can't get excited about it. Yeah. That's all she wrote. Next up, we have these new quints. Quints. Doesn't that roll off the tongue very nicely? Quint. Love a good quint. Just so I can say quint. So much nicer than quad, isn't it? Quad. Quint. Just lovely. But anyway, I've digressed as usual. Mm, here's the thing, here's the thing. I, Dior is a brand that I'm really getting on board with recently. You know, they keep on just ticking all my boxes, floating all of my boats uh, recently. And they're hit, they, I mean, they don't often have many fails, Dior. I've had like decent and great experiences from the brand. I don't think I can remember having a disaster. So it's a brand that my trust is building. You know, my, I'm, I'm starting to trust them. One of the areas I'm not really, Really fully on board with yet is eyeshadow. I feel like they are just mm, mm, fine with eyeshadow. Not they're like not necessarily a brand that I would associate with great eyeshadows, formulas or color stories. Just for me and my preferences, these are not going to be. I don't think the quints to change my mind on that. That's what I'm saying. I think I look at them, the blue is probably the closest to like pushing me over the fence into Purchase Town. The others, I mean, come on. We've all seen these colour stories 4,727 times, I estimate. We just don't need these. These are very, very skippable. These are very dupable. We've got lots of these color stories. Probably the most unique is the blue. And I was almost thinking, I don't think these are out here yet. They're at least in the US. So I, I've had time to ponder my thoughts and make my decision with some calm and some space to breathe. And I've seen some reviews. Now the blue, I think, had it launched here in the UK at the same time as the US, I probably would have bought it with less thought processing. But now I've had time to thought process, I'm going to skip all of these. I thought about getting the blue, but then when I thought about it, I realized that my Natasha Denona five pan that I'm obsessed with does this, like, and probably just far, far better. So I definitely don't need that. It's definitely nothing I don't already own. So I'm just gonna pass on all of the quints even though I love that word so, so much, I just don't need any more quints of these quints that they're offering me. Next up, let's talk about something I just can't stop getting excited about and it's a new mascara. <laughs> I just love a new mascara. And this is from Longcom. Now here's the thing. This is the new Longcom Le Wheat, should we say? I was gonna say Le Eight, but that sounds ridiculous. We're either going French or we're going English. We can't do both. It's the Lancome Le Huit Hypnos Mascara. I'm getting my accents confused. Now here's the thing. I used to really rate Lancome Mascara when it was Monsieur Big was like my absolute holy grail mascara for many years. I lived for it and I very much trusted Lancome with mascara and it was like, you know, a product that I felt like that brand, you know brands like MAC, you know they can bash out a good lipstick, a great lipstick, you know that they can. You know that Tom Ford does base products incredibly. You know Laura Mercier, you can rely on their blushes, you know? And I feel like Lancome, it was mascara, that was their thing, but, in recent months, I've definitely had some mascaras from the brand that I'm like, mm, I might have to take my rating back 
here because we it's been a while since I loved a Lancôme mascara. The last one was Monsieur Big. The Monsieur Big Extreme Black or whatever that nightmare was called was a disaster. And then the adult, wait, the adult, whatever that one, that other one was called wasn't a fan it was just mm, for me so I'm gonna say this is their last chance that's what we're gonna do a deal this is their last chance if this mascara is not absolutely banging then I'm gonna stop associating Lancome with great mascaras because how many more chances can I give them it's not me it's you Lancome I want to like them just they're not great so this is apparently a serum mascara that's going to condition your lashes as well as being a phenomenal, great, big fat lash, dramatic mascara. So I'm here for it. I'm excited about this. I'm trying to rouse my excitement and forget the woes of the last couple of mascaras I tried from them. But I'm always excited about mascara. So yes, I'm definitely going to give them a last chance on this one and try this one out for you guys especially because I just love trying mascaras, okay? It's my weakness. Next up, talking of MAC and lipsticks, they have a new formula coming out. So this is the Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Sticks. Another fantastic bit of alliteration here. Now, I think this packaging looks gorgeous and I really like the look of these colours. I can see at least three. Like, of course, that like orange in the back, in the middle, in the middle of the back row. The red at the front, there's a couple of nudes in there that there's some peaches. Like the look of a lot of these. These look like very nice for summer. I love Max Original Powder Kiss Bullet formula. So I have high hopes about this. I really feel like MAC in 2022, they're coming back. I can see the resurgence. We've already had a massive hit from their mascara. You know, MAC can do lipsticks. We can always rely on MAC for lipsticks, but I very much feel like this year, MAC is really coming back with a vengeance and they're throwing some amazing new formulas out here. So I really think this is gonna be a year where we see MAC just having hit after hit after hit. I hope so. Anyway, these look great to me. They all sound, I love everything about them. I love the color range. I like that packaging. I think it's about time MAC had like a bit of an updated overhaul of their packaging. I like the looks of these. I will definitely pick up a few, a few. I was gonna say a couple, but let's be real. Probably two or three of these definitely coming to live with me. Next up, this Yves Saint Laurent new lip and cheek tint. Oh my. I can't even drag up any kind of positive feeling or hope for these, to be honest. These are, you guys know, my nightmare. I mean, it's a lip and cheek two for one, which I, I always hate. I don't like it. I wish we could just commit to a location. It's either for your cheeks or it's for your lips. Those are two very different places. And I don't believe and have yet to be proven wrong that any product works beautifully in both those locations. Let's just commit and make it a cheek product or a lip product. Why are we being lazy here? Because for a start, this packaging isn't gonna work great to put on your lips, is it? Who's carrying around a big tube in their handbag to touch up their lips with during the day? That's not gonna go well. You know, so I, here's the thing. I don't like those types of products. Just call a spade a spade. It's for the cheek or it's for the lips. Why, why is that so wrong? Why can a product not just do one thing anymore? So that's my first problem. My second problem is it's called a balmy tint. And that is one of my red flag words. When it comes to anything that's a cream or a liquid for the cheeks and it has the word balm in it, it's an immediate alarm bells ringing for me because it just doesn't have positive connotations. The word cream, I'm like, oh, hold up. I get wary. You're on notice. Balm instantly, I don't know if it's just me, but balm says slippy, thin, sticky. That's what happens in my head when I hear that word. And none of that is something that I want to put on my cheeks. I don't want anything slimy, sticky, sheer that you have to build up. I just instantly can see the bronzer and the foundation picking up from my cheeks. That's all I can think of. The pictures of these, I mean, the colors are not wowing me. The packaging isn't wowing me. I don't really like anything about these. And I know I'm just ripping these apart right now, but I'm just so sorry about it. I just, I hate them. And hate's a strong word, and I can only apologise, but um, no, I, I unsurprisingly don't plan 
to purchase these. So, yeah. Next up, let's talk about this fragrance. I thought we would throw a fragrance in here today. Why not? Treat ourselves, you know, mix it up. It is a Wednesday after all. Ah, wicked Wednesdays. Is that a thing? So this is Killian's Love Don't Be Shy Rose and Oud. So this is a flanker for their Love Don't Be Shy. Very famous fragrance. Very much treasured and loved. Very popular fragrance from Killian. Apparently, Rihanna wears it. So that's exciting. If you want to smell like the queen herself, then who doesn't? So I have a mixed bag of experiences with the original Love Don't Be Shy. So Love Don't Be Shy, I wish the name, we'll just call it love because that's too many words to keep on saying. So the original love is just not my cup of tea. It's so sweet. Very, 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 pardon, very sweet. I'm so sorry. I got carried away it's so sweet it's very cloying it's just it's it's too sweet for me not my cup of tea I purchased love don't be shy extreme which is a, another flanker of the original fragrance that just for me is a hair it just takes the edge off the sweetness and makes it wearable for me in certain situations I like having a fragrance that's like super girly girly sweet fragrance although it's not my typical go-to I just like having that option you know maybe I'm going somewhere and I want to fool people into thinking that I'm soft ladylike gentle person you know and then sneak in and kill them <laughs> i promise i don't have any plans to kill anyone i promise you i mean get them you know but i do like to have a fragrance that kind of ticks that box like the more safe expected typically feminine fragrance because that doesn't that's not something i usually go for but i do like to have one on notice just in case i have a, a mood a change in personality and want to wear a fragrance like that so that was the one love extreme that I could get along with because it just had the edge off of the sweetness now if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I sadly had an accident on which my bottle smashed and that was a limited edition uh, but it did come back and now we have this new flanker love don't be shy rose and oud 2022 version so this has been released before it was originally released in 2019 and then it was kind of Weeks, I think and released again in 2020 as a special blend so this has been released before but I believe this version again the 2022 version is most likely been slightly altered to the two previous versions of this flanker so this is now the third love don't be shy rose and oud for 2022 if that makes any sense any of what I just said to you I'm so sorry. But the answer is yes, I'm definitely going to pick this up. In fact, I already ordered it and I am awaiting it any momentarily to arrive. I'm excited about this one because I like the vibe of love, don't be shy, but it's just not me. It's too sweet, too airy-fairy, too feminine, typically feminine, and just too fluffy and gourmand for me. But this one with, you know, add a bit of oud in there, I can really feel like this is how to make that fragrance like Charlotte appropriate. I feel like this is going to be much darker, much warmer, much richer, much sexier, and just much more like what I like in a fragrance. So I'm really excited for this one. This will be a limited edition and I'm sure it will sell out because it is one that is highly loved from the brand like Killian's Love Don't Be Shy Rose and Oud from 2020 was like very highly regarded very very popular fragrance to the brand so I'm really excited to try this one and see how it compares to the two that I already have tried and owned so I'm excited for this I have high hopes high expectations for this to be like a more me version of love, a spicier version, if you will. And last but not least, let's talk about these Lancome L'Absolu Rouge Cream Lipsticks. So Lancome released two different types of lipstick, two new formulas. There's a whole range of mattes, which is an immediate pass because I'm just not that into mattes. And it's just nothing really new to me in my collection that makes me excited. But the cream, that is more my style. These shiny cream hydrating, these have a lot of hydrating claims on here. And so these were much more like caught my eye a lot more because it's just more for me. A luminous finish, comfortable, hydrating, 50, 50 shades. 
that's a lot of shades. Now I did find this quite confusing. I ordered a couple of these. I don't even know what shades I ordered anymore because I got so confused because the swatches and everything is very confusing. A lot of them look similar and I didn't know what was going on. So I've ordered a couple to try out the formula for you and I will, you know, thoughts pending. I will share my thoughts with you. But yes, I could have probably bought a bit like the Dior situation because there were so many colours, so many beautiful colours. I could have probably picked 10 of these, but I thought, hold your horses. It's been a long time since I tried a long com lipstick. And so I've purchased two. Who knows? We may be going back for more, just like the Dior situation, but let's hope not because that would be ridiculous. But yes, these I'm excited for. I'm excited to try them. I like the packaging. I love the selection of colours on offer. And I like a lot of the stuff I'm hearing here. Shiny, luminous, cream, hydrating. I like all of it. I'm here for it. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts on all of these new and upcoming makeup releases. Please, I beg of you, tell us your thoughts in the comment section. Do you agree with me? Do you completely disagree? Are the, What are the most exciting products for you here? Are you most excited about the essence? for example, or the balmy cheek and lip tints. Maybe you are the complete opposite of me and those are the most exciting products for you in this whole bunch because guess what? You're allowed to disagree. Crazy, I know. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.